Yes. Thank you. So the entry level process that we ran uh, last month uh, has concluded. I think we received 10 applications. Some of them weren't qualified. Um, some of them had background issues. We ended up making two conditional offers to uh, applicants. One politely declined. He got an um, offer from another agency. And we, we still have one in the process. And we just, we are wrapping up his background check. So. Uh, since his offer is already out and he's he's um, more or less on the hook uh, with us to start later uh, in the year, uh, we'd like to go ahead and, with the exception of that one offer we have out, go ahead and, and kill the list and start uh, rotate through our, our normal processes and start a lateral entry process. Okay. Um, how many offers are still looking? After after the offer, if, if he starts and, and is gainfully employed by us, we'll still need three. Um, I'll make a motion to terminate the entire list. Second. Mrs. Wasty? Yes. Mr. Rodehaver? Yes. Mr. Kempe? Yes. Um, your advertisement. Is everything on here correct? Yep, good to go. Uh, when would we put it out? Posted, what, May 3rd? Yeah, tomorrow, posted tomorrow, run till the 30th, hopefully a good month. Give some good candidates. Okay. Do I hear a motion to accept and release the uh, advertisement lateral entry? Motion. Second. 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 Roll, roll call. Mr. Rodehaver? Yes. Mr. Kempe? Yes. Mrs. Wasty? Yes. Anything else? I have I have a general question for for your consideration. Uh, obviously, we can't do it this process. This would be a, a, a lengthy endeavor to um, slightly modify the the lateral entry process. So when we started this down this path a couple of years ago, um, it was it would behoove us to hire people that were already OPATA certified. However, we've had uh, several inquiries from out-of-state people that want to come, but that doesn't meet our criteria. Okay. Uh, if, they, if they are transferred in from a state where they're already a peace officer, their training would be accelerated, but they technically wouldn't be OPATA certified when they got here. So uh, in, in an effort to try to just expand, generally expand our hiring pool when we can, I guess I was just, um, Want to know your thoughts on on including out of state certified officers in our lateral entry process? Okay, my question is: If they're already a peace officer, do they not have to go through extensive training? Or I know every state is different, but is our OPATA that much better than, say, state of Indiana's? requirements they're all substantially similar uh, opata is about 800 hours right now uh, someone who's certified out of state would would come through and have to do uh, about 160 hours is generally what they'd have to sit through so they would have to sit through our um, legal update classes uh, the the law section of the police academy some stuff that's specific to ohio but it would um, their, their training, that 160 hours approximately, would be accelerated. Some, something else that uh, recently has started to occur, uh, if they might not be a certified peace officer somewhere else, but they're also, um, there's, there's a kid in the academy, one of the local academies right now, that was an MP in the military, and they took his MP training as a, a prior certification, so he got to go through an accelerated police academy. So th there are some some potential applicants, like I said, just to widen the, the pool. Um, that surprises me. It does. Uh, I, I had not seen that before. OPATA must have changed um, their, their, their entry 
um, checkbox. So uh, when, when they bring a, uh, somebody in from out of state, they have a list. Uh, uh, it's a full page, two columns, and they, they compare what their academy was when they went through in whatever state or the MP Academy at Fort Leonard Wood uh, to uh, what OPATA requires. And they, they go down the checklist. And whatever isn't checked or they don't think is uh, equivalent enough, substantially similar enough, then they, they add those hours in for that accelerated program. But OK, my other question would be if they're going to start taking We have people in the state of Ohio that want to be a peace officer. They do the same for in-state? For MPs, yeah. So I think the kid that's in there now that uh, I talked to the other day, uh, he, he lives here in Ohio, went, went to MP training, um, might be an MP in a guard unit here in Middletown, maybe. And... Um, He's going through the peace officer uh, training academy at, at an accelerated pace. So. But all Ohio officers take this. Yeah, if you're a police officer in Ohio, you would you so uh, rookie rookie starting out, uh, no no prior experience, lives here in Ohio. He'd have to go to an 800 800 hour school. Um, if if they were out of state and did the same thing, whatever it is, Florida, Texas. California, they would. There's a substantially similar number of hours. Uh, when they would come to Ohio, uh, they would have to do a minimum of of about I think it's 160 hours of just like I said the legal legal stuff, Ohio specific stuff. You know, first aid and CPR is the same everywhere. Uh, you know, there's uh, firearms. You know, guns guns work the same everywhere, kind of thing. So there's there's stuff that they have to do. Physical fitness is the same everywhere. So there's, there would just be certain stuff that they'd have to do here. My question is, while George is is there anything you see that the best? There's not. Uh, the city of uh, there, there's several cities around us that have lateral programs that um, take out of state laterals. So I don't have a problem with it. Um, I mean. Obviously, the police department's been hurting for personnel for quite a while. They go and they come and they go and they go and left hanging. So. Yeah, I, I don't have a problem with it either, but we would have to change rules, which means it has to be written properly. Um, well, I have to go I, through Martina. I right. Can't. I think I think we can add a simple line to include out of state, and I can get that to Martina. And, okay. and, uh, and have her squared away okay. awesome. and, and then get it back to you guys. And then we could get that squared away for the next time. Yep. We were, you know, when we originally wrote the rules, uh, lateral entry rules, we were, we had some concerns about uh, the, the, how fast we could get them trained and out on the road uh, versus the, you know, the, the expense and resources we spend on them to get them trained. and. Uh, since since then, uh, the city has started a program of, of uh, like a MOU contract with new hires that they have to pay back a certain portion of their of our expenses to hire them. So if we were to train somebody and they quit or move on, we get some of that back. Uh, if we equip them with you know four thousand dollars, five thousand dollars worth of equipment, and then they quit, we we get some of that cash back, money back. So um, this. It's still a concern, but it's not as much of a concern as when we wrote the lateral entry rules a couple okay. years ago. So. But I can do that. Thank you very much. Yes, I just want to cover all our bases and yep. yours. Any other business? Thanks, sir. Thank you. Any other business? Meeting adjourned. Eleven. No, I think that's.